say that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I won't just say yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Need you to do more than say that. Yesterday we had a conversation, which is the kind of conversation we usually have. We have this a lot. I had uh, Kyla Janae Lacey and, of course, Dr. Caritha Mitchell, and we were talking about P. Diddy, but not really talking about P. Diddy because, of course, you know, this is a a case that's going to play out. But I think the bones of the case, the reason why the case, the, the feds and all of the things and Cassie and all of this is happening because we have a culture that I feel like we need to deal with. So I'm going to keep having that conversation, even though I think it makes some people uncomfortable there's a lot of deflection I was uh, I posted a video today on YouTube and in the comments while I've, I've blocked quite a few people what is the, a disturbing trend and again you know when I look at a space like YouTube it, it is Lord of the Flies it's an open echo chamber of spewing of all manner of thought without check without checks and balances without any kind of back and forth and i i i find that i might be one of the few people in them comments you know engaging with people which cuz cuz i keep getting what, what you responded and i'm like uh you commented like i'm 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 just supposed to just let you just say whatever and and when it's wrong or or insulting or rude or uh, ridiculous. I'm not just going to let that happen because it's got my name on it. But even if it didn't, I'd probably be in them comments uh, because I feel like we live in a world where we need to discuss and have conversations. And it's not about agreement, but we do need to come to some reckoning about some things. And I'm not just talking about black people, but there's a lot of this parroting of, you know, y'all just trying to take a black man down. And I heard that same sentiment when R. Kelly stuff happened. And he's in jail, by the way, convicted. So let me just say that. Heard the same thing around Cosby. He too, uh, whether it was right or wrong, uh, he made a deal. He should not have gone to jail because he made a deal with the previous prosecutor. But however, but what's disturbing to me is that we even have to equivocate around a discussion where we're talking about harm done to some of the most vulnerable in our community. When we're talking about harm done to women and boys and girls and the first thought is to defend the alleged perpetrator like that's your first thought as opposed to talking about how you know how much this actually happens which we we talked about it yesterday how how the birth of this usually is in our homes you know there's a lot of uh of silence that goes on around things that we all know that are wrong even with our family members and we say nothing we've talked with dr robin about this a lot and i'm just i'm wondering what is it going to take for us to be mature enough to look at our own mess this is not about epstein because it was like what about uh, what about what about and i'm like no what about you what about you what about me what about us what about where we are right now and the inability to even have sane civilized conversations around things that we all know are happening now whether there's a criminal situation because as we know p diddy was not arrested even though there were raids and people in handcuffs at two of his properties one of his um somebody that was connected to him was arrested at a miami airport he was at an airport pacing he was not arrested we talked about that but we weren't really even talking about the case because while the details are the details, they're going to come out, and a lot of them have come out already because we have civil suits that have been settled and more to come. And today, uh, uh, P. Diddy, Sean Combs's lawyer, released a statement um, where he uh, called it a witch hunt. He's a victim of a witch hunt. His attorney, Aaron Dyer, uh, said that this is a statement that was released, so it's, it could be his words. Yes, I'm sure. Yesterday, there was a gross overuse of military level force as search warrants were executed at Mr. Combs' rest- residences. Yeah, this is from the lawyer, uh, Aaron Dyer. There is no excuse for the excessive show of force and hostility exhibited by authorities or the ways his children and employees were treated. Mr. Combs has never 
was never detained, but spoke to and cooperated with authorities despite media speculation. Neither Mr. Combs nor any of his family members have been arrested, nor has their ability to travel been restricted in any way. Combs, is, uh, of course, was seen uh, speaking to a customs agent at an airport 15 minutes from his Miami Beach uh, home on Monday, uh, never arrested. And and again, I'm never litigating a case that's going on ongoing i'm always having a larger conversation and i use these popular culture moments these these stories as entry points to have deeper conversations not just with you but with ourselves you know the goal here is to be as healthy and whole as possible because we have a lot i think to do as not just a people but as a nation and i think it depends on all of us to grow to f up on so many levels. We need to be adults. We need to be mature. We need to be the kind of adults that our children deserve. And so a lot of that has to do with healing, self-healing. A lot of us, I think we need a national therapy. You know, we all need to go. It should be mandatory that we all sit down and talk to somebody uh, because we're working through it. So that's, you know, so say less, you know, yes. Yes, let's sit and think and sit in it for a second. And I think, you know, the defense, and I'm just going to tell you how it comes off to me. When you when you call up the show as a brother did yesterday and your immediate thing is to defend uh, Puff Daddy or to defend R. Kelly, which happened a lot. And that was surprising to me. I'll be honest with you. When, when the R. Kelly case came down, I was so surprised. And I had Dream Hampton on and all the amount of people. And even when I've had Tarana Burke on, the amount of venom spewed at women who come forward to say a thing happened to them. And it's always, well, what did you do? Are they gold diggers? Are they wanted that money? And, oh, well, they, they're walking around naked or they're doing. And it's always that kind of deflection that makes me, I'm just telling you how I feel about it makes me look at you and say, why are you in alignment with this behavior? What is it about this behavior that you feel a kinship to? So later on in the show, we're gonna have Dr. Robin Smith on because I, I don't know whether it is the worship of celebrity. Is it, the, is it the fame and the wealth that makes you feel like there's somehow they're coming for this person when the thing happened with Bill Cosby is like, well, he tried to buy NBC and so they had to take him down. So they planted the drugs in the women's drinks when he was talking about the roofie and the women long before this. Is that, is that what you think? You, that, 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 that they somehow play because he's on record as admitting to doing this, right? So we're not arguing the facts, are we? Are we arguing in the facts? Are we doing that? So I'm just, I'm just curious, what is your alignment to this? If you feel as if this nation has been unfair to black men, yes, absolutely, absolutely. But to then draw the weird line all the way over here and drag all black men into something that is so un, unfair, I think, to paint a broad picture. Yes, we know outside of our culture, birth of a nation, you know, depicted black men as rapists and all these other things. And throughout time, we have not done a good job, I think, whether it's in our music or in our art, dispelling these things because we can have a responsibility to say that doesn't represent us. And I dare you to say anything again, say something again and watch what happens. We don't do that. We don't do that, though. We don't do that. And then we wait for things to happen. And I'm not saying that that's the case here because it's not. I don't think that's the case. I think there's been 30 plus years of evidence of stories of things that have happened that most of us know happened because we were there. <laughs> we were there when it happened and we know what happened. There's been enough of things happening that you can say, hey, 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 um, this is not right. And maybe we should all be outraged about the thing happening. Not the not the um, the comeuppance. We should be in the moment saying you shouldn't treat people like this, even if they're they're consenting. We should have some sort of moral outrage or compass to say, hey, 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 uh, how old was he? How old was she? That's a thirteen year old boy. That's a sixteen year old girl. No, no that's un unacceptable. No, we don't we don't uh, condone that. We think uh, you know R. Kelly being with Aaliyah when she's a teenager is not necessarily appropriate. We're not celebrating that. We're not going to have you on the couch talking about it. And and when we know that they're in in a, in a relationship, you're married. Like, oh well, what about Elvis? That's your comeback. <laughs> What what about Jerry Lee Lewis? That's your comeback, not like this is wrong. That should that to me should be the do north. This is wrong. So let's all agree that this is wrong, and then we suss out 
from there. Okay, this behavior is wrong. May not be illegal, but it doesn't represent us. And it shouldn't represent us. And we should let our young people know that this is not what we, we accept. I just think that, that that's just me. It's my opinion. 866-801-8255. But I am going to play a clip from Teray, uh, who's, you know, y'all know Teray. He's been on this show many, many times. He's even filled in for me uh, uh, year, uh, years ago. Um, so he was being interviewed, what was this, last night on Joy Ann Reed? Okay, let's play. Just a, I'm just playing a clip. I'm not going to even comment. It's Over giving R. Kelly, Teray. It's giving, it's, 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 it's disturbing. You know, I was personally disturbed many years ago, okay? I, I, I know this man well enough to call him and say, hey, I need a favor. Yeah. And this might have been 10, 12 years ago that I called him and say, hey, I have a family member who I want you to hire them as an intern. Yeah. And uh, I have never talked about this publicly. And I and he said yes. And they were flying around, one of the interns, Atlanta, Miami, whatever, on the jet, in the house, whatever. And then the internship stopped abruptly, like three or four months into it. Yeah. And I spoke to my family member, like, well, what happened? And they wouldn't say. Yeah. And I'm like, what, what do you, why did it end? He wouldn't yeah. say. And years later, they finally came out, and this is a male, yeah. and said that uh, Puff had said, come home, stay the night with me, or the internship is over. And they said, absolutely not. He said, absolutely not. Uh, and the internship ended. Uh, but from there, I was like, oh, like, oh, this is, this is how it goes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So to hear that things went even further with potentially, allegedly, many other people, yeah. it, it, it's, it's not... I don't, it, you know, we, we feel like we've seen this coming. Because you know, <laughs> you were there.